Here we have a golfer that's plagued by one of the things that challenges a lot of amateur golfers. They know a lot about the swing because they've read all kinds of books, magazines, articles, watched on TV, but they're not really sure how to connect all those different swings to their swing. Every golfer has a unique swing. Uh, it's harder to see that now on the PGA Tour because everybody looks like Tiger Woods because he sort of created the, uh, the, the I don't know, artificially stiff, uh, super athletic, uh, video reproduced golf swing. Um, when we're 60, 70, 80 years old, we're not going to have that. What we do want to do is we want to have a certain motion that is correct even to our body styles. So let's start here with this swing. The guy's pretty upright, uh, and he's constantly evaluating his swing uh, based on the ball results and not often talking about what he's doing. He has a feeling that he's taking the club to the inside so he can reroute it back from the inside. That's what he describes to me. So we're going to go ahead and start this club back real slow. So what he wants to do is he wants to get the club really inside. So we'll mark that right there. Here's where the club is on the way back. Pretty far behind him. Uh, if I drew a line, let's draw a blue line here. Down the club shaft, you can see where the club is pointing. Somewhere over there. Probably not where he wants the swing to go. That's a little too far right, so let's clear that out of the way. Um, let's go back to the setup again and put our swing plane in. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead, while I'm drawing that in, take a look at the ball position versus the head of the club. Uh, you can see the ball is way outside on the toe. So let's draw the white swing plane line in again. Uh, let's go back nice and slow. It will put the club head in. There's the club head. The club head at this point should be blocking my view of the hands. Uh, and you can see it's not. It's really far back. Now his belief is that if he gets it far enough back, he'll be able to route the club back down underneath and get back down to a good 24 angle tilt of the club shaft on the way to the ball. So let's forward that a little bit. Now he brings the club up, still laid up. Now it's back on plane. He's in a pretty good place right here, but let's see where he goes from here. Ideally, we'd want that club head to reroute itself back to the ball that way. He wants to go in to out. That's why he went inside on the backswing. So let's see what happens. Oh, we're not going that way, are we? Look where that club head is now. It's way up here. That's not an in to out path. In order for that club to be on an in to out path at this point right now, that club shaft needs to be parallel to his trail arm. It's parallel to his lead arm. Advance a little bit further, comes on through, pulls up and out of the swing. That's why he's doing that. He's coming across the ball. He's got a low launch angle because he's coming in so steep, and he has a tendency to hit the ball off to the right. What we need to get him to do is take that club a little bit more on or above the swing plane on the way back, maybe Jim Furyk-like, not that crazy but at least on the swing plane on the way back, so you can reroute it under the plane on the way forward. In to out or under the swing is what we're talking about here. We've all heard over the top, the white line is the top. Everybody wants to swing over the top. 